Are you one of those who increase their expenses upon increasing their income? Well, if so, you will struggle to be rich. This is called lifestyle inflation, and it keeps millions of people poor, even if their income is constantly increasing. In this video, we'll unveil the top eight practical strategies that Warren Buffett, one of the world's wealthiest investors, has used to avoid lifestyle inflation and maintain a frugal yet fulfilling life. Stick around to the end to gain the insights you need to take control of your finances, break free from the cycle of lifestyle inflation, and secure a brighter financial future for yourself. Number 1. Frugal Living Warren Buffett's first tip to avoid lifestyle inflation is all about embracing frugality. This means being mindful of your spending, cutting down on unnecessary expenses, and making the most out of what you have. It's a practical approach that Buffett himself has championed throughout his life. You won't find him living in a lavish mansion or driving a fleet of luxury cars. In fact, he's known for residing in the same modest home he bought in 1958 and driving a relatively inexpensive car. The idea here is to avoid the temptation of constantly upgrading your lifestyle as your income increases. It's easy to fall into the trap of buying more expensive things, whether it's a bigger house, a fancier car, or designer clothing. But these upgrades can quickly erode your financial stability. Warren Buffett's advice is to find contentment in a simpler lifestyle. By doing so, you not only save more money, but also reduce the financial stress that often accompanies a high-cost lifestyle. I could buy any house in the world, and, and, and I don't want any other house than the one I'm in. You know, and that house is in a middle-class neighborhood. I'm happy in a pair of khakis and a sweater, so I, I, don't, I, I don't need fancy clothes. I don't need fancy food. Do you have an iPad? I do not have an iPad. iPhone? No. This frugal approach doesn't mean living in deprivation, but rather making thoughtful choices. Buy what you need, not what society or advertising tells you to want. It's about making conscious decisions, such as buying quality items that last longer instead of going for disposable or trendy products. By following this advice, you can keep your expenses in check and avoid the never-ending chase for more. Number 2. Invest Wisely Warren Buffett's second tip for avoiding lifestyle inflation is to invest your money wisely. He's often quoted as saying, the best investment you can make is in yourself. Buffett's approach to investing focuses on long-term, value-oriented strategies. He advises against the temptation to get rich quick or chase after fads in the market. Instead, he recommends a patient and disciplined approach to investing. This includes Diversification Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify your investments across different asset classes like stocks, bonds, and real estate. By spreading your risk, you can protect your wealth and achieve more stable returns. We think diversification, is, as practiced generally, makes very little sense for anyone that knows what they're doing. Uh, they, diversification is a protection against ignorance. I mean, if you want to make sure that nothing bad happens to you relative to the market, you own everything. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that, that is a perfectly sound approach for somebody who who does not feel they know how to analyze businesses. If you know how to analyze businesses and value businesses, it's crazy to own 50 stocks. Buy and hold. Warren Buffett is a strong advocate of buying quality companies and holding on to them for the long term. This minimizes transaction costs and the taxes associated with frequent trading. It also allows your investments to benefit from compounding over time. Avoid market timing. Buffett advises against trying to time the market. Predicting short-term market movements is extremely challenging, even for experts. Instead, focus on the fundamentals of the investments you hold and stay the course, regardless of market fluctuations. Education. One of the most crucial aspects of wise investing, according to Buffett, is continuous learning. Stay informed about the companies and industries you're investing in. Make informed decisions based on knowledge, not emotion. Number 3. Prioritize Savings Warren Buffett Prioritizes Savings it's a straightforward concept. Set aside a portion of your income for savings before you start spending. This means paying yourself first. By making savings a non-negotiable part of your financial routine, you ensure that your future financial security is taken care of. One way to implement this is through automatic deductions from your paycheck or bank account to a separate savings or investment account. This out-of-sight, out-of-mind approach can be highly effective. You won't be tempted to spend money you never see in your checking account. Buffett's philosophy on savings is closely tied to the idea of living below your means. Rather than spending everything you earn, aim to save a significant portion of your income. 
This money can be used for various purposes, such as building an emergency fund, investing for the future, or even achieving specific financial goals like buying a home or starting a business. The benefits of prioritizing savings are twofold. First, it ensures that you consistently put money aside for your future, which can provide peace of mind and financial stability. Second, it helps you avoid lifestyle inflation because your spending is based on what remains after saving, not the other way around. This means that as your income grows, your savings grow proportionally while your spending remains in check. Number 4. Avoid Debt The fourth valuable tip for maintaining a modest lifestyle is to avoid unnecessary debt. Debt can be a significant obstacle to financial stability, especially when it's used for non-essential purchases or to maintain an extravagant lifestyle. Buffett is known for his aversion to high-interest debt, and his advice is simple. If you can't afford it with the money you have, don't buy it. We would say, even though we, we issue lots of credit cards and everything, we'd say if, probably if I had one piece of advice to give to young people, of, you know, that across the board, it would be just to don't get in debt. It, uh, the game plays a lot easier if you're a little bit ahead of the game than, than if you're behind the game. And Ben Franklin said that long ago in better terms, which Charlie can recite. But, but there's a real difference. I get letters every day from people that are in all kinds of financial trouble. And... There are two main types of debt, good debt and bad debt. Good debt is typically associated with investments that have the potential to increase in value over time, such as a mortgage for a home or a loan for education. These investments can help improve your financial situation in the long run. On the other hand, bad debt is incurred for items that quickly lose value or for unnecessary expenditures. Credit card debt is a classic example of bad debt as the interest rates are often high, making it costly and challenging to pay off. Buffett's approach is to avoid bad debt at all costs and to use credit wisely. If you do use credit cards, pay off the balance in full each month to avoid accumulating high interest debt. By being cautious with debt and only taking on what's absolutely necessary or strategically beneficial, you can prevent lifestyle inflation. Avoiding bad debt means you won't be burdened with high monthly payments that eat into your income giving you more flexibility to live within your means and save for the future. Number 5. Set Clear Financial Goals The fifth important tip for avoiding lifestyle inflation is to establish clear financial goals. Having a destination in mind for your money can help you stay on track and make informed financial decisions. This process involves setting specific, achievable objectives for your finances. Start by identifying what you want to accomplish with your money. Whether it's saving for a down payment on a house, funding your child's education, or retiring comfortably, having well-defined goals gives you a sense of purpose and direction. Instead of spending impulsively, you'll be motivated to prioritize your financial objectives. It's important to break down these goals into smaller, manageable steps. For example, if you want to save for retirement, calculate how much you need to save each month to reach your target. If you're planning to buy a home, determine the down payment you'll need and create a savings plan to achieve it. By setting specific financial goals and creating a plan to reach them, you'll be less likely to spend recklessly. Your money will have a purpose, which can serve as a strong deterrent to lifestyle inflation. When faced with the choice of buying something extravagant or sticking to your savings plan, your goals will act as a guiding compass. Number 6. Keep Learning Warren Buffett's sixth tip for financial management is to keep learning about money and investments. While this may seem simple, it's a crucial part of maintaining a modest lifestyle. By expanding your financial knowledge, you can make more informed choices and avoid common pitfalls that lead to lifestyle inflation. But the advice I would give is to read everything in sight you know, and, uh, and to start very young. It's a, it's a huge advantage uh, in almost any field uh, to start young. And uh, if that's where your interest lies uh, and you start young and you read a lot, you're, gonna, you're, you're going to do well. I mean, there are no... There are no secrets in this business that only the priesthood knows. I mean, it, it, you know, we do not go into we do not go into temples and financial education doesn't mean you have to become an expert in the stock market, but understanding the basics of investing, budgeting, and personal finance is essential. Read books, attend workshops, or take online courses to improve your financial literacy. Learn how to make wise investment decisions, manage your money effectively, and recognize potential financial risks. By continuously educating yourself, you'll be better equipped to make prudent financial decisions. You'll be less likely to be swayed by flashy advertisements or impulsive spending. 
This knowledge will also help you identify opportunities to grow your wealth, which can be instrumental in achieving financial security while living within your means. Number 7. Budget Wisely Budgeting is a practical tool that helps you keep track of your income and expenses. It's a way of ensuring that your money is allocated efficiently, and it can be a powerful strategy for living within your means. Begin by creating a budget that outlines your monthly income and expenses. This includes essentials like housing, groceries, utilities, and transportation, as well as non-essential spending on entertainment, dining out, and other discretionary items. A budget gives you a clear picture of where your money is going and where you may be overspending. One of the keys to budgeting wisely is to differentiate between needs and wants. Your needs are essential expenses required for your basic well-being, while your wants are non-essential items or experiences that bring enjoyment. By identifying your wants, you can make conscious decisions about how you allocate your money. It's not about depriving yourself, but rather about ensuring that your needs are met before spending on wants. Once you have a budget in place, track your spending to see if you are adhering to it. Review your budget regularly to make necessary adjustments. When your income increases, consider increasing your savings and investment contributions rather than increasing your spending on wants. This will help you maintain a balanced financial lifestyle. Budgeting is a practical way to avoid lifestyle inflation because it provides structure and discipline to your financial decisions. It ensures that you are conscious of your spending and that you have a plan in place to allocate your income responsibly. Number 8. Delay Gratification Warren Buffett's eighth tip for financial success is to delay gratification. This means resisting the impulse to make impulsive purchases and instead focusing on long-term financial objectives. It's about understanding that you don't need instant gratification and that good things come to those who are patient. One of the most significant contributors to lifestyle inflation is the desire for immediate satisfaction. Many people can't resist the temptation to spend money as soon as they have it, whether it's on a new gadget, a fancy dinner, or a luxurious vacation. However, Buffett's approach is to delay such gratification. The benefit of delaying gratification is that it allows you to accumulate wealth over time. Instead of spending your extra income on things that provide momentary pleasure, consider saving or investing it for your future. This approach aligns with Warren Buffett's philosophy of compound interest, which can significantly boost your wealth if you give it time to work. Additionally, delaying gratification can help you make more rational and considered spending choices. When you postpone a purchase, you have time to evaluate whether it's a true necessity or just a fleeting desire. This habit can lead to more intentional and wiser spending decisions, ultimately preventing lifestyle inflation. Thanks for tuning into our video. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more practical financial tips, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.